Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'd like to make a video comparing the NMD R1s to the new NMD R2s. So when I was trying to buy these shoes online um, last weekend, I think, well, I couldn't really find any information about the R2s. Adidas had released some pictures, some teaser videos, but there was no reviews or anything like that. So I couldn't decide to get the R1 or the R2. So I was like, well, I'll just get both and compare them myself. And here they are. So I thought I'd make this video to make the decision easier for you guys out there. Let's start off with like some of the more basic things. Um, obviously, the midsole plugs. That's what the NMDs are known for, right? These three EVA plugs on the shoe. Well, on the outside of the R2, they do not have any sort of plugs. Um, they're totally gone. There's kind of like this um, pattern kind of engraved into here, but that's that's pretty much it. It adds some visual interest, but I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I, I, I like it maybe a little more than the actual blocks themselves. On the, the medial side of the shoe though, they've actually increased the size of the plug here and Honestly, I, I, I like it. it. It provides a lot of arch support when, when you're wearing it. It kind of reminds me of um, like Nike SB shoes. A lot of those shoes have a lot of arch support and that's exactly what this reminds me of. Moving on, let's talk about the, uh, the lacelets. Lacelets? I, I don't know what they're called. It's the, wherever these, the, the little holes where the laces go. Um, the R1s kind of have this little like TPU, to, I don't know what this is, it's like some sort of like um, neoprene type material. Um, these eyelets, eyelets, that's what they're called. They're called eyelets. Um, the eyelets uh, for the for the laces to go in. I don't know, it, it looks kind of bizarre. I, I've like never been a huge fan of this, this design. Like it comes up from the three stripes, the Adidas logo, and continues into these uh, eyelets. Yeah, I guess it kind of works, but glad to report on the NMD R2s, they totally got rid of it. No more eyelets. It goes right into the prime knit, kind of like Yeezys. Um, that's probably where they got the cue from. And overall, it makes the shoe just like look way better. Look at that. I mean, side by side, I think, especially the top of the shoe, definitely agree that this um, the R2 looks pretty clean. Now let's move on to the back of the shoe. Um, the NMD R2 kind of has this waxed leather heel, heel tab right here. Um, it's probably not real leather, but it, it looks pretty nice and um, it, it's pretty much exactly like the, the heel tab from the NMD XR1 where the, the, the pull tab is kind of like woven through here. That's a pretty cool little neat kind of touch. Now the NMD R1 kind of has this kind of like rubbery TPU type thing um, where the logo is kind of extruded on there, printed on there. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't feel super premium or anything, but I mean, it gets the job done. And the heel tab, well, actually, one interesting thing about the heel tab, for the NMD R1s anyway, it would always bother me how long the, the this heel tab was. I mean. Like it, when I was wearing my shoes, like this would always like touch the back of my legs, like nee, nee, nee. It, it's kind of annoying. Um, on the NMD R1s, they've actually reduced the height of the, the little pull tab here, so it won't bother you as much. So I mean, that's that's thoughtful. Thank you, Adidas. Now moving on to the outsoles. I don't know. There's uh, not much change. Just uh, both of them are just these rubber outsoles glued to the the boost midsole, and there's nothing really significant. Um, the, the pattern here has changed, but apart from that, um, pretty much it. They did get rid of these little uh, nubs at the toe. On the R2, there's no nubs, and I don't know, that's kind of a bummer because fake NMDs had very telltale signs on the nubs, so you won't be able to do that anymore on the R2s. Now finally, as far as the upper goes, I can't really make a fair comparison because these are meshes and these are prime knit. So I don't have a pair of prime knit R1s to compare to, so I can't really make a fair assessment here. Obviously, the PK 
R2 is way more comfortable. It fits like a sock. The R1 is a mesh. It's a little harder to get into um, on foot. It's a little more uncomfortable. So I, I mean, in terms of comfort, these two shoes, one-on-one -on -one comparison, the R2 wins 100% of the time. Hmm. So if I were to choose between the two shoes, which one is my favorite? Well, I gotta say for now, the winner is the R2. Now, I know this shoe gets a lot of hate for, for looking weird and having the, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the diagonal stripe pattern. I think it's, I think it's sick. I like it. I like the diagonal stripe pattern. And the thing that wins me over the most is this medial plug right here. It, give, it gives me a ton of support when I wear it. It feels more of, it feels more athletic, you know, it, it feels less like a leisure shoe and more like an actual performance shoe uh, which this is not but it, it, it it's getting there it's it's no ultra boost but it's it's not bad uh, the r1 it's it's kind of a kind of like a tried and true proven design but it's just not as comfortable and it might be because it's mesh I don't know, I don't have any PKR1s, so maybe the PKR1s are different. But I don't think the PKR1s, the, the bottom of the shoe, would feel any different on the PK. Um, the upper probably is more comfortable, but these plugs honestly make the shoe a little uncomfortable compared to more boost in your shoe, like the Ultra Boost or Yeezys. So, that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Have a good one.